I, I give it an honest chance, people. I want to say that because, you know, a lot of times I will try to avoid reviewing something on YouTube that I don't really care for. But I needed another film to kind of make it through the week this time, so I had to pick something that I really didn't like, so I really hate the dog on something on camera, but The Abandon, which is an IFC Midnight Screen Factory uh, joint release, I guess you could say, is just enough of everything it takes to just irk me and make me completely miserable by watching the film. I hate to say this, but this is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. And if you don't want to spend money on this, I believe it's on Netflix right now. Somebody told me it was on Netflix right now, so you can check and see if it's there. And you can see if you want to add this to your collection. But nonetheless, there it is. This one's Screen Factory. It's from IFC Midnight. Features the guy from Lost Boys. You know that guy? What's... I don't, I don't even remember that. Was his name Danny? Was his name Danny? Because, you know, like he was the lead guy. And uh, he, he was after the chick, you know, what was her name? Was her name Star? Like, you know, been a long time since I've seen Lost Boys. But he's here in, in, in this film. And um, kind of a small cast. So, so you get this girl here, which I don't know if you can see that good or not. But, but there she is. And, and you can tell right at the start of the movie that there's some problems with her. And something's just not right. They don't hide this. Like, this is a proven fact. Something is just not right. And she's going to this this first night on the job where she's going to help watch this big abandoned like museum type thing. It looks really nice, and it needs somebody to watch it. So her and this other guard, which is the guy that's from Lost Boys, is is the guards here, and he's kind of you know hounding her a little bit. He's kind of messing with her a little bit because it's her first night. We find out pretty quick that he's actually disabled himself. So there's a bit of a problem that kind of comes into play later. So, nonetheless, she's out looking around. She likes what she sees, but she ends up finding a part of the building that you're not supposed to go into, and, of course, she goes into it, because why wouldn't she? Because if she didn't go into it, we wouldn't have a movie. So then, strange things starts happening, and this paranormal thing comes into play, and then there's a homeless guy that kind of randomly walks into play, just so we can have a body count. And I don't want to say that as a spoiler, because we know somebody's got to die in this movie, so there's our body count. You know, we got to have uh, somebody. So... <laughs> There that comes. And then the other stuff, the things just get really slow. They get kind of weird. They get kind of disjointed, I think, as, as we start to see that she's probably a little bit crazier than we expected her to be. And this could be playing a part in other things. Uh, the dude, you know, he kind of suspects her to kind of be off a rocker. So he kind of tries to restrain her while he takes care of some situations. And, and things go from bad to worse, but they kind of just drag to the point of... You don't care anymore whenever something does happen. And then when they do happen, you're like, well, that's dumb. And, and that was my reaction to it. Like, whenever something would happen on the screen, I was like, well, that, that's dumb. And that doesn't even get me started on the ending of it. I hated this ending to this movie. And there's an alternate ending on here that would have made a better ending than the ending we got. Not that it would make much sense. And the one we get don't make any sense. This one here made eh, a little bit more sense made. At least, it at least made a little bit more sense. They could have used it. It would have been better overall, but they stick to this really weird, kind of confusing ending that makes you want to rewind a little bit, even though you don't want to watch it again. You want to rewind it a little bit and be like, well, what did I miss here? Because I had to have missed something here because this doesn't make any sense. But, you know, maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe this is the greatest movie in the world. And if it is, I'm sure Jason Lloyd from Horrorphilia is going to tell me that it is. And I can joke about him because me and him did podcasts together for years, so it's it's all love, even though Lloyd's wrong most of the time. Um, the ending makes no sense, and there's a bit of CGI at the end, and I, I I harp on CGI a lot, but there's this CGI at the end. I don't want to spoil it. You'll know it when you see it. Trust me. But there's this there's a CGI at the end, the worst CGI I've ever seen, probably in a horror film. And I've seen horror films use CGI in like the, the late '90s and early 2000s. This looks like a bad Nintendo 64 graphic that somebody attached to something here. I don't want to spoil it, like I said, but it just looks terrible. And to make it even more confusing why they used it, the CGI spot for the same spot in the alternate ending looks better. It's this much better, but it's better. And, and I don't know, like, quality control? Is there quality control here? Does somebody have quality control that they could see what's going on here? I just, I don't understand. But nonetheless, the abandoned is not a good movie in my opinion. It's a ghost story that does everything you expect it to do and it ends it, halfway you expect you know sort of an ending like that but then on the other half you're like what is going on? I don't understand what's going on. It's stupid. So here it is. It's got deleted scenes. It's got an alternate ending as your extras. 
It's got okay acting, I guess. That may be the one good thing about it. There's your disc inside of it. Oh, oh and, and the, I don't even think the transfer looks that good. Like, yeah, it's HD, it's new, so close-ups look pretty good. But but there's, there's a lot of darkness within this film. Like, there, there's dark scenes, you know, here and there. There's dark corridors or dark rooms. Very little blood, actually, but there's a lot of darkness here. And when they go into the dark areas, it seems like... The, the blacks kind of turn to grays, and it kind of takes away from the from the look and the transfer. So this one doesn't even have what I'd call a good transfer. Just naked eye, no expert, just looking at it. Uh, so if you want to try it, you know, go ahead. But don't say, oh, Chuck here didn't warn you a little bit about it if you don't like it. And you can check Netflix. So I heard somebody say it's on Netflix. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't even opened my Netflix thing in, like, months, so I don't even know what's on there. So maybe it's on there. So there it is, the abandoned... It's already out, if you do want to pick it up. If you're a completist and you just want to have all the Screen Factory stuff or the IFC stuff, then hey, go ahead. But I just didn't like it. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm an idiot, I'm a jerk, I'm a big mouth that don't know what he's talking about. I don't know. Just You can check it out and you can tell me what you think. Because as far as I'm saying, it's probably the worst thing I've seen.